let's look at the other types of assignments that we can create on the classwork page. We can click create and there is a quiz assignment. When you click on create quiz assignment, what Google Classroom is going to do is create an assignment and attach to it a blank quiz. I normally don't do it this way. What I normally choose to do is create my quiz first in Google Drive and then attach the quiz here by clicking Add and going into my Drive and attaching the quiz. But you can do it this way as well. If you were to do it this way, you would just click on the blank quiz and then start editing your quiz from here. We'll just title this one Sample Quiz, but not add any questions since we don't really need them. Let's put it away. So we'll just title this our Sample Quiz and give the instructions. Take the quiz. <laughs> Pretty short and sweet. Now we have locked mode on for Chromebooks. Now when we do this we can hover over the information and it says respondents will not be able to open tabs or other applications while taking this quiz. Now keep in mind this only works if your students are on Chromebooks that are managed by your school system. For instance our school system has adopted Google um, G Suite as our system and so all of our Chromebooks are managed by uh, G Suite admin. So we can lock down the browsers by clicking this. And so if the students are logged in to DeKalb K-12 then they are not able to go anywhere else while they're on the quiz. If they try to it will tell them they're not allowed to and it will redirect them to the quiz and the teacher will get an email saying oh your student tried to go somewhere else so you'll know that your student tried to navigate away from the quiz and it will be time stamped so you'll be aware that that tried to happen. We have grade importing clicked so this means that when the students finish the quiz the grades that are automatically graded in the quiz will be imported into your gradebook inside your Google Classroom. Now we also have all the same options over here as we did for the regular assignment. We can uh, choose what class it's for, we can choose which students it goes to. So if you have differentiated quizzes, perhaps you have some special education students that need a shorter quiz or the questions are multiple choice rather than short or long answer, then you can choose which students get which quiz here. You can choose your point value system, the due date, which topic it's under, and a rubric if you wish to apply that here. Then you're going to click assign and it's ready to go. Now you'll notice that because it is assigned it is already lit up in green whereas the assignment that we scheduled is grayed out. That way we know this one is live and this one is not live. We also chose for this sample quiz to not be under a topic and so it is free floating. If I wanted it to be in the reading and writing topic I could click on the three dots and I could edit it. If I edit it, it opens back up my editing, click on the no topic and I could choose to place it in reading and writing and click save. And now it is part of the reading and writing topic. Now let's look at questions. Perhaps I just want to pose a quick question and take it for a quick daily grade. So let's ask, is the sea salt water or fresh water? Okay, there are no instructions needed because it is just a question. I'm going to give them a short answer. It's worth, let's say, 10 points to all students. 
I'm not going to let the students reply to each other, but I am going to let them edit their answer if they make a mistake really quickly. So I'm going to click Ask. Now, this is an assignment for my students. I can click back on my stream, and let's look at what's happened to our stream. Not only do we have our stream items that we posted earlier, but we can see that we have our sample quiz. And here's our question. Let's create a different type of assignment. This assignment doesn't require any student work, but it is a place to put things for students to refer to later. So we can create a material. This material, let's say I'm going to give them a list of irregular verbs. So I can grab anything from a link to a file to a YouTube video or something from my Google Drive that I just want them to be able to reference now and again. So let's say I have this irregular verb image. Let's pull that up that I want them to be able to look at when they need it. So I've placed that here. I've titled it Irregular Verbs. I'm going to place it under the reading and writing topic. Or do you know what? How about it would be better under grammar? So let's create a new topic of grammar. And I'm going to post it. Now my students have a grammar topic and they have this material and all they have to do is click view material and there it is and they can look at it when they need it. Let's go back to classwork and we can click create one more time. The last option is to reuse a post. Let's say that I have three classes of sixth grade reading, writing, and grammar, and I want all of them to be able to have this irregular verb material. So I can reuse the post from the sample class, and I'm going to change it to this class and click post and it's done.